Hello, everybody, and welcome to the uh, Men's League TV update for September 25th, 2024. Uh, our last uh, 22nd event, uh, last event of the season, uh, other than men's clothes, which is this Saturday. And I urge you to, there's still room, sign up. I'm going to push that a bit more. We got about 140 in men's clothes, uh, a good number, but uh, we could... Uh, I'd like a couple more groups if you if you haven't made up your mind yet. There's a thousand dollars in prizes, and I'll get into that more in a minute. Um, I'm going to go over the uh, uh, seasonal winners because there's it was such an exciting day yesterday. But I've got an interview interview with Tyler where I've done that. Yesterday, today I'm just going to go over uh, right now. I'm just going to go over what happened yesterday. Um, Elliot Riddell had the low gross of 33 yesterday, and that's very significant. Um, and do and Dino Giorgio had the low net of 30. Unfortunately, they're in the same division. I had to flip a coin and, and do won the $25 first prize. Uh, there was one perfect team yesterday, Team Stanley, uh, led by Brian Dawson. He had three birdies and uh, Jeff Stanley. Unfortunately, Brian is in the C division. I had a birdie in the C division, so he killed us all. Like, uh, we got like 15 bucks each because of uh, Brian's uh, great play yesterday. 24 players were 20 points or better yesterday. Uh, and um, seven teams had 40 or more. Um, <laughs> for the third week in a row, no winner in skins. That money just goes in the skins prize pool for next year. So uh, unfortunately, there's no winner for skins. The only there was uh, only single skins winner was uh, me. <laughs> I won the net skins. Uh, I was the only net skin winner with my birdie on seven. We're on two, so I should say. Um, yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to uh, stop the video now, and we're going to listen to Tyler and myself talk about what happened in the league and and the league summary. So here it is. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm here with Tyler Fitzgerald, and we're going to be talking about this wild finish in men's league. Uh, so many things happened yesterday. Um, even though we didn't get a full field get out, but the the ones that did come out, boy, that they they uh, it, what an impact yesterday had. Um, listen, the first thing we're going to talk about is the team <coughs> team finals, the team uh, winners, and I'm just going to share my screen with you, Tyler, and we'll go to that uh, go to that information. Uh, go team. And I'll just make this bigger. Can you see this, Tyler? Oh, I see it, John. That looks great. All right, let's have a look at this. Okay. So in the A final, you had picked Team Jones. They only got 32 points, unfortunately, Tyler. Ah. And Team Beasley. <laughs> Upstart team. The, the, the team that, that – an upset team had 35. Not a great total, but good enough to win. And they will get $100 off their men's league fees next year. So congratulations to Team Beasley in the, in the B in the A final. They're going to be pretty happy. <laughs> uh, in the B final. Let's see. We've got you had picked Team Bowles. I picked Team Pereira. And Team Bowles had a tremendous night. 41 points. That's awesome. really good. Out of a total of 44 is the highest you can get. And team number, uh, team Pereira, 37. They're usually pretty solid, but they yeah. couldn't come through this time. Uh, team Bulls is our, our B winner. In the C finals, we had Team Basada with 39, Team Nicholson, 38. You chose Team Basada. I chose Team Nicholson. You win again, so you beat me two to one in the predictions. Two to one. I like those odds. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go to the summary page here. Uh -oh. Because this is amazing. Uh, look at these finals. I'm just going to do the top three. Overall points in the Masters division. Tr Jim Trenholm is our Masters champion. So congratulations to him followed by Keith Ritchie and Clark Cater. Now, all these ties, the order you see them in as the order they finish, uh, because the ties are broken by retrogression. So Jim Trenholz, number one, Keith Ritchie, and then Clark Cater. 
in the I'm gonna go to the overall intermediate. Elliot Riddell came from nowhere, absolutely nowhere, and took top spot over Aiden Coyle, who's been leading all year by one point. Aiden's uh, next, and Derek Allen is third. Elliot had a great day yesterday, as we're going to see in a minute here. Uh, he shot a low gross of um, 33. Uh, Jared had a 34, and I'll tell you the significance of that in a minute. Finally, in the overall mid-amateur, the mid-amateur, look, look at this. 238 for Jim Bosco, 238 for Charles LaPointe. Now, Jim wins by retrogression the mid-amateur, but Tyler, yeah. The Al Murray Trophy. The Al Murray Trophy is the trophy awarded to the men's league champion. It's given to the person with the most points. There's no monetary award for it, not this year, uh, because we have we have divisions now. But ties cannot be broken by retrogression for the Al Murray Trophy. They got to have a playoff. Oh boy! So oh no! Oh year. no! <laughs> Another playoff. Yeah. So I'm putting you on the spot, buddy. Yeah. What do you think I'm going to ask you to do? <laughs> pick the winner maybe <laughs> got it <laughs> oh my goodness this is tough because you know both are great guys uh jim was in my office yesterday he's so excited on how well he's been playing this year he has really really turned his game around but charles i mean charles is the grinder charles is here practicing just about every day uh all summer long you'll see him at the range or at the short game area ah uh, this is this is a tough one uh, I'm going to go with, uh, with Busco, Busco all the way. All right. And I'm going with LaPointe all the way, uh, in the playoff. Although I'll tell you, Charles has got to give him stroke. So it'll be an interesting, uh, final. Uh, so that's good. And that'll be for the honor of the Al Murray trophy. So we won't know the winner at men's close of the Al Murray trophy winner. So that's too bad, but, uh, that's, that's, uh, what, what can I tell you? Um, we have some other seasonal awards that I want to go over. I don't know if you're aware of this. We have an award called the um, the the putting award, and it's uh, it's awarded to the person your best ten putting days, the average of the best ten putting days you had. And this year, Ryan Valley won it by point one over a wow. boy and Angel Pony. Is that something? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Averaging 12 putts, just over 12 and a half putts around. Boy, oh boy, that's yeah. amazing. That is amazing. That's your, that's your best 10, but you know, yeah. that's uh, that. Now, I don't know if you know about this award. This is the most coveted award by the A players. This is the award that they want to go after. Same thing, best 10 gross rounds. Your average of the best 10 gross rounds called the Gunner, named after Graham Gunn, who mm -hmm. uh, started the this particular award. And look what we had. Last week, Jared Coyle was leading. Jared got a 34 yesterday. Elliot got a 33 and tied him. So they now tied for the Gunner Trophy. Uh, tremendous. Uh, they, they, there is no way to break in a tiebreaker for the Gunner. So uh, they will both share that uh, honor this year. Isn't that something? And Aiden, Aiden there is there with a thirty three point six. That's amazing. That that's incredible. What a what a uh, an average to have on the front nine. Yeah, yeah. You know our record, I think, is uh, is a low thirty two mm. or high thirty one, set by Robert Mustard a few years ago. Mm. Uh, it's it's a, an amazing re record. Now I'm not sure if you're aware of this. We have two Ringer awards. Now Ringer is your best score on every hole mm. okay and we keep track of that we have a gross ringer which is your best gross score and your best net ringer which is your best net score right. and uh, i have to go to the net ringer i'm going to take you to the report because there were so many people this is the net ringer there were so many people tied at 20. this is your best net score but the award goes to jason seymour because he was the first one to get there. So okay. he got something for that. So 20 is our net ringer. Now, if he had got to 18, he would have won an additional $25 because there's a net ringer challenge, first one to 18. What's that zero on there? Zero, sorry. This is on number six. Well, that means that his net score on six was zero. Wow, okay, that's amazing. Yeah. So he might have had two strokes and got a birdie. Perfect. That helps. Yeah. 
So now, Rose Springer. This is another coveted award. Everybody loves this. So we're going to go here. David Denny had a, a, a gross ringer score of 25. That means he eagled five and he birdied every other hole, uh, every hole. I believe, though, we offer an award for the first person to birdie or better on every hole. And I think Chris Byrne won that. I'm not sure. Chris or Aiden? I can't remember who did it first. No, I think it was, I think it was Chris Byrne. I don't think it was David. Anyway, but David Denny wins the gross ringer. Look at this, 25. Isn't that something? I think we had one year someone with a 24 because they, they eagled another, they eagled two or three or something like that. It's crazy. Because oh, wow. they can't eagle three. Eh? They can drive the green and, and one putt. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Now, uh, surprisingly enough, I and mean, I was kidding, the both coil boys, they did not eagle number five. Huh. That's All season. Well, that's yeah. unusual. Yeah. Yeah, very unusual for them. But uh, so those, so our, our – uh, and he'll win a prize for that, which is a uh, uh, great thing. So those are some of the seasonal things uh, that we can talk about. Um, now, let's talk about uh, the fun this weekend. Men's clothes, we've got $1,000 up for sale. We've got the uh, challenge the pros versus the Joes. We've got, uh, what, uh, 30 teams or 25 teams or 20 teams or something like that in there, 26, 27 teams, 28 teams. I can't yeah, we, we got just under 140 golfers right now, John. So we're, we're posting that draw today. So members are going to, you know, the, the golfers are going to be able to see where their starting holes are. Uh, it's great. We have uh, right now uh, four groups of four. So if there's a couple of singles still looking to get in, we'd love to pair you with another group. Uh, we have four groups of four right now that uh, that are still looking for partners. However, if you do end up playing as just a foursome, you know we we change the format. It will be just a four man scramble. No step aside for that for that part. But uh, yeah, we're pretty excited, John. The weather's looking great for this weekend. Like you mentioned, we have the the pro team in there, so we have five golf professionals: myself, Cameron, Nolan, Fergus, and our and our uh, good friend uh, Brad Smith, who's a member of the club, but he's also a pro, so he's joining us. And uh, we're going to have some fun with this pros versus Joe's. You'll be able to see, you'll be able to bet on the teams who you think will place well. You can bet on us or against us. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. That's great. That's great news. And uh, uh, there'll be a lot of prizes uh, awarded. The prize tables are going to be put out. You guys are working on that right now. We have 240 prizes to distribute. Um, Tyler, let's <laughs> tell them what top prize in each division is. How much it's worth? John, uh, we really sharpened our pencil this year. I'll tell you, we we are going above and beyond. I think last year, um, top prize was about $500 for that top place finisher. Um, with three different divisions now, we have our masters, we have our mid amateur, and we have our, um, our intermediate divisions. Each one, the top of each list, $700 in value for their prizes. That's amazing. That's amazing. And uh, one of the reasons why we were able to do that is, is that uh, it may not happen next year like this, but we we did get last year a lot more sponsors uh, than I had expected. And so we didn't spend all the money we should have. And I carried that money over to this year. So we're we're uh, making sure that all gets spent. Uh, so that was uh, good news there. Um, yeah, we got a lot of prizes. And then we have the seasonal prizes we have to give out. And on the day, of men's clothes there's a thousand dollars in prizes uh it's all in certificates but the top team i think it's three hundred dollars second place I, I can't remember what the distribution is 300 oh. 200 100 i think it works out and then there's 400 more dollars in prizes on the on the on the on the day so lots and lots of prizes uh prize money up for sale there and then there's of course the paramutual betting so we'll uh we'll see there but ladies and gentlemen Gentlemen, I really have to urge you, please contribute to that 50-50 draw. We need your support. Uh, we, I'd love to fill that board up. Uh, the more we can fill up the board, the more beneficial. Uh, it's in support of the First Tee program and uh, indirectly in support of yourself. So just let me know. That, you know, Just go, go ahead and do that. Uh, I, and now it's 
you may not be too late to sign up for the final by the time you hear this. So if you're still on the fence, it's going to be a nice day. Sunny, Saturday too. Lots going on. Tyler, help me out here. What do you yeah. think? Well, it's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, we, we got so much going on. Like you said, like the prizes are going to be great. So anyone who is participating in playing has a chance for $1,000. We're going to sell out that board. I, I'm pretty confident um, we're going to have that board available uh, all throughout the day to put your name down. We have 200 squares. We have 140 golfers. Hey, you know what? If everyone just bought one square each and a few by two, that board is going to be filled uh, in no time. And top prize, $2,000. I mean, isn't that great? I love to put my name in. Actually, I've already bought two squares, John. So we we are really trying to gun for uh, some great prizes uh, coming up soon. And it's the end of the season. So this is it. This is going to be one of your last chances to come out and compete and have fun at the club. Um, so we're really encouraging everyone in men's league to, uh, to take part in this. It's been a great men's league uh, this year. I mean, uh, if I just, maybe I just want to show you one thing, just, to show you how close some of these finishes were. I'm going to go oh, give you the uh, uh, share my screen here. Just a minute. Zoom. Uh, share screen. This is this is the overall. Oh, sorry. A little bit higher. This is overall for the Masters Division. Look at these scores. 233, 229, 229, 229, 228, 228, 228, 228, 227. That's how close it was. And if you think that's close, look at this one. Look at the mid-amateur. Wow. Look at this. By going to three divisions, what a difference it makes. We have two guys with 238. Now, Jim Busco wins the mid-amateur through retrogression. But look at Charles LaPointe yesterday getting 20 points to tie him, almost taking over one more point. He would have been the, the Al Murray winner and the winner of this. 233, 232, 232, 231, 230, 230. These are the top 10. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's take a look at the intermediate. Look at this. Elliot Riddell, 20 points yesterday. Sneaks by Aiden, 234, 233, 232, 232. Look at the top 10. Like it was jam packed. So close. Like that, that that's amazing, John. Like all these scores, all these points. Uh, uh, I love how they're all in different divisions now. I mean, it makes for so much more excitement. This goes to show like anyone in that top 10 can really win it. You know, they have one or two strong weeks at the end of the season um and everyone's still in the game right till the end and they're getting great prizes if you finish mm -hmm. in the top 10 believe me even if you finish in the top 150 you're getting a pretty good prize now the last 90 you'll, you'll get a 40 dollar prize probably half a sleeve of balls or something but but the the first 150 players are going to win some something pretty good oh it's gonna be great john i know this is so much fun i, I love the new format you put in here it makes it for so much more exciting and we have some surprises for next year i haven't uh discussed it with uh phil and tyler yet as to what we can do to improve things because i know some of the uh the uh, elderly golfers like uh, me uh are having trouble sometimes getting onto some of these greens so uh we are going to try and see what we can do for next year uh we put out a survey uh we've got the results we're going to be looking at it and uh we'll be getting back to you sometime uh in uh april with a proposal a more solid proposal for uh, maybe some changes for next year. So we'll talk about that later. But we always are looking to make men's league better. Uh, we want to be more competitive. This has been a tremendous uh, boon going to three different divisions. Uh, that that really is good because you don't feel so bad competing against people that, you know, your own ability level and age. You do feel bad if I got to compete against Elliot or Dayton or those guys, you know, that you, you kind of feel out of it. But this was a really good... Uh, this was really good for us. Mm -hmm. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. And well done, and, and great, great initiative, uh, John, at the beginning of the season to make those divisions. Anyway, Tyler, uh, hopefully we're gonna we're gonna talk once more next week because we'll have the final. We'll have the winner of the uh, uh, of the Al Murray Trophy. Uh, uh, and once we get that winner, uh, then we'll talk about that, talk about some things that are going to be uh, happening around the club uh, the next few weeks. And, uh, hey, love your predictions. Uh, they, 
people just love it. I know you've been getting some feedback from that too. <laughs> well, what? hey, I, 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 they're a lot of fun, and hey, you know what? I got a winning record, so maybe it's not too bad. You know, they should listen to me. <laughs> anyway, Tyler, thank you very much. Until uh, till next week, everybody, play well. Thanks, John. Okay, that was a good interview with Tyler, and I'm hoping to have Tyler on uh, for. Um, uh, future in future uh, episodes, I, th I think we should make that a regular uh, uh, regular occurrence. He's, uh, just just before I came on here, uh, we had recorded with a thing with Tyler earlier, uh, earlier, and Jim Busco uh, emailed Tyler and and me and said, "Look, uh, don't make any predictions, or if you're going to predict, pick, pick Charles because every time you pick against me, uh, I, I win." Unfortunately, Tyler, Tyler picked Jim Frisco. So, Jim, you got a bit of a curse on you. I hope, hope you can overcome that. Uh, there are a few more awards that we didn't go over uh, with Tyler uh, right now. And so I'm going to go over them now. They're the seasonal awards. So let's take a look at those. These are all gift certificates. So uh, what is a seasonal award? Well, let me just... Uh, okay, here we are. We're at the seasonal awards. Um and so these are the these are the awards that uh, are are for things that happened to the season. So the men's league winner, um, they, they see the uh, prize distribution list. Uh, the the pro shop will take care of it. Um, and there is no mo monetary award for the final prize. So the winner between Charles and uh, uh, Jim uh, on next Wednesday just gets their name on the trophy. But it is an honor because. I don't know if you knew this or not, the men's league trophy, the men's league uh, competition or league award is the oldest league. It's the same age as the club championship where they've had one every year since then. So what's that uh, was well over 50 years. So to get your name on that trophy is, uh, is quite an honor. Uh, the A playoff winners uh, will get a hundred dollars off their men's league fee next year. So there, you won't see anything this year, but next year you won't pay the full, full fare. Uh, the team points winner, Team Kada, that we still continue to take team points. Uh, their team wins $150, $30 a team member. So Clark and Tim, Tim Casey, uh, Tony Charbonneau, Mark Saunders, Jim Trenholm win uh, uh, $30 each. The B champions winner, uh, they win $30 each. So Chris Bowles, Chris Deirdrick, um, change your name, Chris, for the capital C here. Uh, Dino Giorgia, uh, Adam Lee, and Ted McEwen each win uh, $30. And the C winners uh, of the C championship win $30. Kyle Baker, Josh Basada, uh, Ewan Majoris, and J.P. McAvoy, Jimmy Manette. So uh, those are the uh, team winners for this year. Uh, low gross of the year was by Jared Coyle. He wins a certificate for $50. Low net for the year is with J.D. Aiken. Uh, wins a certificate by $50. The gross birdie champion, Jared Coyle, uh, hung on uh, and, and won. Uh, he wins $50. Uh, the net birdie champion was Gary Chamberlain. Uh, he wins $50. The putting award winner, Ryan Valley, just edged out the uh, second place winner and wins $50. Uh, the Net Ringer Award, uh, uh, the, sorry, the Gunner, the Gunner was tied on the last day. Elliot Riddell had a shot a low gross of 33. Jared Coyle shot a low gross of 34. Had Jared shot the 33, he'd have been the total winner. Now they're going to split the $50 first pike, $25 each. They tied for the Gunner, but that's one of the most cherished trophies at the club. Net Ringer. Jason Seymour won that. He was the first to get 20. There was a five-way tie for 20, and Jason was the first to get there, so he gets the award. Uh, David Denis was the only uh, winner in A to, uh, for the gross ringer, got 25. Unusual, because uh, both Aiden and Jared did not eagle number five. It's the first time, I think, uh, in years that I haven't done that, they would have equaled them. Uh, Chris Byrne was second, and uh, he was at 26. Uh, flight champions, they, the certificates have already been awarded. Jim Busco was the overall champion, won $100. Jared Coyle, Jeff Stanley, J.P. Kuwait, and Jim won $50 for their previous week's work uh, uh, in their flight, in respective flights. Well, Dale Riddell had himself a heck of a day yesterday. He not only won 
the $25 first place for being the fantasy winner, but his team snuck in and won it all. $300. He's the overall winner of fantasy. Congratulations, Dale. You're $325 richer today. Congratulations. Um, the Net Ringer Challenge, we didn't have anybody get to 18. Uh, so there's no one won that one. And the Gross Ringer Challenge has already been awarded. Uh, I think it was Jared Coyle. Uh, Jared or Aiden Coyle um, already got that award. He was the first to get birdie every hole. So um, those are the seasonal winners. Now, just to let you know, men's clothes. This is uh this is the prize list for men's clothes. Another thousand dollars in prizes for men's clothes. Look at this. First place, 300, second place, 200, third place, 100. Close to the pin awards on six, eight, ten, and twelve. Close to the markers on number nine. Closest in two on three and seven, and longest first putt on five and eighteen. So a lot of awards, a lot of prizes yet for men's clothes. I hope you get a chance to go out. Um Match play, uh, we have one winner already, uh, Matt Delorier. I'm a little bit disappointed. The other, uh, either you're not reporting them to me or you're slow. I will tell you, if I don't get the information uh, in a timely fashion, the money's going to go into the pool and, and we're going to put it up for next year. So get those matches in. I don't want you to hesitate any longer. I, I get those matches done. Lots of matches still to be played yet uh, uh, to finish off. I can't emphasize how important this 50-50 draw is for us. Uh, please contribute to the 50-50 draw. We'll be pushing it on Saturday. Um, I need you to uh, sign up. Uh, there will be benefit. I can't tell you what it is, uh, but I will tell you that there is a benefit to you if if we get enough money from that. Uh, it does come back to Men's League, and it does come back to you directly. So please, uh, that that's important to us. So get that money in there and uh, let, let's uh, contribute that 50-50 uh, money uh, to the First Tee program um, and also to the league programs. Um, just again, uh, I hope we, we're having a wonderful day for men's clothes. It's second year in a row. We, we're going to get great weather. I remember men's clothes where I'm bundled up. I got I took on, got my gloves on. It's freezing outside. It's 40 degrees. It's windy. It's raining. But we slogged through it anyway, you know. But this week, another gorgeous week. Course is in great shape. Um, and uh, just let's go out and have a good time. It's a five-man step-aside scramble. Uh, uh, I love this format. Uh, I, you know, it, it's just a great format for, to finish off. We have a lot of fun with it. And uh, listen, let's see you all. Let's have a, all have a good time uh, this weekend. Uh, I want to thank uh, you all. I want to thank our sponsors who have come through for us this year. Uh, Jeff Granger uh, is going to come through. He's going to deliver a leaf, uh, a, a garden tool, so that we can raffle that off. Uh, and so uh, we have the pros versus the Joes this weekend. There'll be a paramutual on that. So bring lots of money, prepare to spend. And uh, we have a chicken and ribs dinner. We got a $14 breakfast. Who gets a $14 breakfast? That's great. It's starting at 9 o'clock. So we'll see you there. And let's have a good time. And until next week, uh, everybody play well.